We're um, a, a corporate investment bank, so what that means is that we, we uh, have relationships with uh, South African companies uh, and other South African banks and financial institutions and the government. Uh, and, and also with the, uh, the, the, the local operations of multinational companies, you know, big, big sort of global, global names as well. And we've got about 300 people uh, in our office in uh, Johannesburg. We focus on the, 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 say, the corporate space. Unless you're, unless you're an ultra high net worth person, you can, then you can be uh, with our private bank. I have a team of about 20 people within the branch here in South Africa. And I was thinking, you know, we're a very strong team, but each of us brings different things to the table. Uh, so we're all strong in our, our own ways, uh, and, you know, you put us together and, you know, we make a great team. And I was thinking, you know, that we at City hire people for what they're good at. That's the focus. I don't have the qualities to play basketball, but that didn't get in the way of me being hired by City. And, and so I think a, a key message there was, why should employers let people's disabilities get in the way of their abilities when they're making hiring decisions? They're not 100% sure what they want to do with their career. They're open-minded, um, they have some ideas, but they're not, they're not set on a specific career path. So, you know, we're, we're not here to bang the drum and say, hey, you have to join the city. Specifically, you have to come into financial services. It's more, uh, there, there are many exhibitors here alongside us. And uh, I think it's the, the idea of this is to, to increase people's awareness of what is, what is out there and, and actually the surprising array of opportunities that there are for people with, with uh, disabilities. And I think a lot of employers, us, ourselves included, are working very hard to uh, improve accessibility of the workplace, both in terms of uh, you know, the, the accessibility of the building, but also having you know, medical facilities available, um, the ability for people to work from home, if, if, uh, because the, the, the pandemic, there's one, one, one positive that's come out of it, I think it's making the work from home option much more feasible. The job possibilities are much broader than they used to be, technology's improving, um, and I guess the last message was that um, people with disabilities should also raise expectations, their own, raise their own expectations as to what they can, what they can achieve, focus on their strengths, um, their superpowers and uh, you know apply for courses and jobs that, that, that make the best use of those. It's surprising how broad the range of roles are at a bank. You think that it's, you know, you, there might be certain preconceptions as to what a, what a banker is. Some of them are true, but, um, but it can involve everything from, you know, a client-facing role where you look after uh, the bank's relationships with clients. You can be, you can focus on a particular uh, product, like foreign exchange, for example, or cash management. Um, you can uh, be part of um, you know, the risk management organisation, which, which basically, as the name suggests, manages the, the risks that the bank is open to. Uh, you can join the human resources department, you can work in operations and technology, which is, you know, keeping the engine room of the bank going. This is my first, first time here. Um, I think that there are, there are obviously things that we can see that we would um, improve for, for, for next time round, but I think it's been a, a, fantastic, um, a fantastic event so far, and I'm looking, looking forward to going out there again and um, meeting some more, some more people and learning some more. Mm -hmm.